Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. Have you ever been in the dark without a light source just like I was? Well, that magic wand light effect really helped. Now you might be wondering, how can we create this effect using Filmora 10? Well, let me go ahead and show you how to do it. But first, let's grab the clips we need for editing. I'm gonna turn on one light and bounce it to the ceiling in the studio. Then set it to a low brightness level. This gives a subtle light that looks like moonlight. Now let's frame the subject. To produce the best results, make sure to place the camera on a tripod or a steady surface. A stable frame could make the editing much easier. Make sure to frame the subject carefully because we'll have another person standing next to the subject controlling the light. And we don't want to see that person. We're going to use a small LED light to imitate the magic wand's light. According to the subject's movement, turn the LED light at the same time and move it with the magic wand. Okay, so now that we have our clips that we need, let's bring it into Filmora 10 to edit. Drag and drop the clip onto the first video track on the timeline. Go to the top left element window and find the bling bling effect pack from the film sock section. I'm gonna choose the bling bling element six and drop it into the second video track. Adjust the scale of the element if needed. Now I'm gonna move the playhead to find the brightest moment of the element. Right click and select add freeze frame. It will freeze the element at where it's brightest. Now let's find a spot on the timeline where the magic wand light is turned on. As we want the element to show on the tip of the magic wand, I'm gonna move the element on the second track to match with this movement. Make sure the freeze frame starts when the magic wand light is turned on. Adjust the duration to match the end of the two clips on the timeline. Now we are ready to add some keyframes, so the element that we just added can track the wand movement. Double click the element on the timeline to activate the setting window on the top left. Click on the animation window and go to the customize section. And then add the first keyframe by clicking the add button. Then adjust the position of the element to the tip of the wand in the preview window. Then move the playhead further right and stop where the element is not on the tip of the magic wand. I'm gonna add another keyframe here and then drag the element onto the tip of the wand. Then move the playhead to the further right and repeat the steps. Make sure the keyframe follows the magic wand movement until the end of the clip. Feel free to spend more time on this step. The more keyframes we add, the smoother the movement. All right, let's take a look at the results. And there you go. That is how you can make a magic wand light effect using keyframing and film stock effects in Filmora 10. What magic power do you want to have? Let us know in the comment section below. I think I'd want to be invisible. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we'd love to see you back. Keep creating and I'll see you guys next time. Magic wants light like that, take one. Magic wants light like that, take two.